What's up ladies and gentlemen, Christopher here. It is 11.19 p.m. I'm going to do some pesticide for the garden fungicide and get rid of some worms and stuff, caterpillars and such. Alright, I'll show you the ingredients. Should be good. Alright guys, when you make this concoction, it's very smelly. So we'll start with the good stuff. Lemongrass, some cinnamon, cinnamon. So that's in there. i got to stir it real quick. So I'll let that boil over for a few. Um, I didn't count. This is for the big pot here. This is for the little pot. So we got garlic chopped in half, just as is. And then a couple onions. And then same thing over here with the garlic chopped in half, as is. And then onion. So I showed you that in the pot over there. So we got some pepper. I might add some from my garden in there. But that's a uh, cayenne pepper, I think. All right, guys. Should be good. Alright guys, just a thought, I bought the cayenne pepper, peppers, and then I bought the cinnamon sticks at the same time at a health food store. They definitely came in handy. So all this will be put in the compost once it's all cooked down. Should be good. Should be good. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I put the garlic and the onion in there. So usually I'll boil it, but... I'm just, I brought it to a boil, then I put it in, so pots are hot. I mean, they'll burn you if you touch them, but should be good. All right, guys. All right, guys, one scoop of coffee grounds, one cup of espresso grounds, and a little scoop of matcha powder. Should be good to try. Should be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had my coffee, matcha, and espresso strongness. All right, so... It's all done. That's the color you look for, I guess. Can't stand back. All right, so that's all the ingredients I used. Ooh, it looks good. I can tell how it looks. It looks good. Good pesticide. So every time I make this, when I make it, I've made it only once in a year so far. That's not good. A lot of pests out there. But uh, so usually what I try to say to myself is just put more water on the top of this, which I'm gonna put ice or something. Because usually I'll get usually five gallons out of this. This is like four. That's about a gallon or so. But if I dilute it, which I'm not worried about the strength of it. It's just that I'll have more to spray. All right, guys. So I said this last time, but on the last pesticide video. All right. So I'll take the strainer, put in that pot down there. Then I'll, of course, clean that strainer. And then pour that pot into that strainer over there. And then I'll cool it down. Put some dish soap with it. And uh, put in the sprayer. And spray my plants. Should be good.